the freedom in Dhamma this is a little bit technical I don't know whether you understand it I hope so <laughs> uh, in Dhamma there's really uh, two directions one direction is the wrong direction the way to where towards bad things evil things the other is the right direction now if one looks at the way of going towards evil things when one does bad things the results come back on you and they come back uh, in a way which corresponds to the action that's been done in other words if you, if you do something physically harm a person it tends to come back as physical harm to oneself it's almost as though it's a sort of reflex coming straight back on them. But when one goes in the direction of what is good, <coughs> it becomes far less definite like that. We get the results back in the same way, but they don't always come back exactly as they were done. They come back in rather, rather more diffuse, diffuse ways. And this is the way it should be, because the more one's going towards freedom, the more the boundaries are breaking down. They must, because freedom means no boundaries, no bounds, no limits. Uh, when one's breaking down the limits, the bounds, which, which sort of bind us in, we're, we're getting more freedom all the time. But at the same time, results that come back from our actions also become much less limited. And there's far more freedom there. And the more we go on, the more diffuse and uncertain do things become. The hard categories, hard and fast categories that we used to have, they start breaking down. Um, the uh, ideas we had where we wanted everything, we wanted to know exactly how things worked and so on, we find you can't do that. There isn't any exactness there. It doesn't work in that way. And this can puzzle people a bit. But at the same time, there is a growing sense of happiness and of lightness and freedom. And the, the, the way of Dhamma, in other words, is a way of getting more and more towards freedom. And freedom means the breaking of boundaries, the, the, the breaking of all limits, like that. Until the, the final state, the ultimate state, is where there are no boundaries, no limits, no conditions we can't even imagine it so one can see that the, the way must, one must go is towards the state where one can no longer define things very easily but at the same time we, can, we have to at the moment as we are in this world get some clear understanding of what we're about what we're doing what we should do and the directions we should go and if we do that, the rest will tend to take care of itself anyway. <laughs>